So, update on my next little project, as discussed in the previous video. Containers have now moved. So, we'll continue tidying this area up. So, we'll clean all this up, get the hedgerows all planted. Okay, it's all looking very snazzy. I think we're going to have train carriages in here. That container will move that way. Obviously, the plane's still there. Looking cool. And um, <coughs> what I've done is actually put a third container in now because it's going to give me nearly a thousand square feet of space for storage, temporary workshop and so forth and um, I've managed to drag them across here, push them across on big uh, logs with the forklift I think I've got a little bit of video I'll drop in of that Third one I've just got ready to push in. So these are 40 foot shipping containers. I'm gonna cut a roller door hatch out of there and a normal door as well. So I've cleared all this up, just scraped around with a digger. Obviously lots more to do. Bits to sort out. We'll wander around this side. <coughs> Don't happen there. I said the battery was low, turned off, but line I think. Um, so yeah, sides have come out of these and then this one a roll in between these two and cut the sides out and we've got a big double depth sort of or triple depth sort of set up and we'll start boarding it all out. Ply line it essentially I hope yes board it out insulate it because they do sweat and get condensated might see on there, so they get a bit wet. Um, but yeah, this would be the main sort of entrance in. Big workshop space, storage space for the next build, the house build, and so forth. So um, yeah, I no doubt get some more footage as I stitch together these three shipping containers and turn them into a workshop storage space. So I'll update again shortly. So quick little update on the containers. I've now got all three positioned together. Um, how I can see it's pretty dark. I've literally just started chopping out a little bit here, which goes through to the front one. I've got to chop out some there to go for the back one. Don't think you can really see it's pretty dark. But I've got the armoured cable in for the mains three phase supply. That's all in. If I duck under here. This is the other one. Generator and bits ready to cut. Pop out the side. Pretty muddy. Got piles of wood to go in. So I'm gonna line it all out, insulate it all, and so forth. But all three are all lined up now. So three 40 footers, which I'll chop through, as I've sort of shown and um, start insulating and ply lining um, roof ceilings, floors, three to the floor etc so it's really nice sound secure sort of uh, temporary workshop building space you can't really see me now um, and yeah go from there so I oh, no doubt vlog a little bit more as I start fitting these out and building them trying to get them sort of watertight still we've got to weld up the roof and seal that and um before the weather gets too disastrous and uh, yeah talking of weather the uh the tornado which hit my car or my wife's new car the other day um i'll drop in a little video of that but i was yeah, driving out of sight and yeah, a tree collapsed on top of the car so it wasn't ideal but no harm done easily fixed and solvable so hopefully this week will be a little bit better i shall no doubt Update again soon and go from there.